Hi, um, after our last year we got a lot of feedback from you guys and one of the main questions you had was how is coding or programming important to art? So today I thought I'd just pop in and try to give you some answers on that one. Have you ever wondered why your animation or effects don't seem as good as they do in the movies? Well, that's mainly because uh, in visual effects, you have to understand the science behind the images that you're putting on screen. Really 3D is an amazing field. Uh, it combines maths, physics and computer science in a unique way and uh, can enable you to produce incredible images that no other art medium can even think of. So how is coding important to us? Well, when you think about it, it basically becomes a question of whether or not you want to know about the tool that you're using. As digital artists, our tool is the computer. It's much, much more complex and versatile than a pencil or a crayon. So to truly harness the power of a computer, you have to know how to code because that's the only way you can interface with the hardware directly. I mean, sure, you can use off-the-shelf software like 3D Studio Max or Maya, but uh, what happens when some animation or effect that you want to do is not in software? Almost all DCC applications give you an API or a method to strip inside the software. This way, you can extend your software in ways that the original creators never even dreamed of. A classic example of extending current technology uh, is the battle scenes in Lord of the Rings. Back in 1999, there was absolutely no way to create an army of tens of thousands of creatures and have them fight together in a virtual environment. So a guy named Steven Regeller stepped up and he created an AI system for simulating crowds. This software is called Massive and it enabled Beta Digital to create the epic battle scenes you see in the rings. Another main reason to learn coding is for automation. In a production pipeline with tight deadlines, it's a huge, huge deal. Uh, let me show you a simple automation script that I did a while back. We did a short last year and it had a graveyard scene with lots of vegetation in it. For the background plants, uh, Maya paint effects was good enough, but for the hero sets, that's plants that is close to the camera, uh, we decided to go with a procedural modeling tool called IV Generator. But there was a small problem because it didn't support animation. So we had to take the geometry that's uh, generated inside IVGen and take it into Maya and animate it there manually. Now, theoretically, it wasn't such a big deal because all you had to do was create some joints and uh, apply some dynamic motion to them and uh, skim the geometry to the joints. But in practice, it was really boring work and very time consuming because you had to snap the joints to the stems and, and, and basically a lot of work. So I decided to write a small script that would take a user-generated locator set and spit out animated joints. In the end, this method proved so successful that we added a lot of IV, we added a lot more IV gen plants than I had originally planned and uh, it really added to the feeling of the scene. If you have any further questions about marrying code and art, you can contact me on Twitter at RalaX and stay tuned with the Sighting Media faculty on Twitter and Facebook.